Will Ford Ranger continue its sales leadership in the compact pickup segment for 1990? You've done the job for two straight years. So let's see what 1990 will offer to your prospects. Hi, I'm Jim Hamilton. And I'm Nancy Rice. During this segment, we'll be looking at marketing strategies, what's new for Ranger in 1990, and the model and equipment lineups. In just a moment, we'll be talking to Kevin Corson from Homer Heller Ford in Escondido, California. Kevin's the 1988 light truck national walk-around champion. In 1988, Kevin sold 175 new and 65 used cars and trucks. Homer Heller Ford had a total new vehicle volume of 1,915 cars and trucks. He'll be conducting a walk-around of the 1990 Ranger using the five key reasons to buy and show us the winning technique he employs in demonstrating product features in terms of buyer benefits. We'll also be talking to race driver Pete Halsmer of the Ford Motorsports IMSA Trans Am racing team. He'll tell us about some impressive new engineering features that you'll be selling on Ranger. Ranger is one of the top ten best-selling nameplates among all car and truck nameplates sold in the U.S. For 1990, production capacity will be increased to about 365,000 vehicles. That's over 20% more than in 1989. And as in 1989, Ranger XLT with preferred equipment packages 864A and 853A will be the focus vehicles, accounting for about 65% of total production and sales. With that kind of production, Jim, our sales force will have more vehicles available to continue Ford's leadership in compact pickup sales over Toyota, Chevy, and Dodge. For 1990, a new 4-liter V6 will be available in XLT and STX 4x4 models. And some S Plus 4x4 models will be equipped with a high-strength composite plastic pickup box. About 10,000 units will be produced. All Rangers have had improvements made to the air conditioning system and periodic service items to simplify maintenance. The full line of Ranger models will be available. This includes the S and S Plus, Ranger Custom, XLT, and STX 4x4 regular cab. The Super Cab will also be available in Custom, XLT, and STX 4x4 models. Nancy? Thanks, Jim. Kevin is standing by to show us his winning walk-around technique. Kevin, congratulations on being the 1988 light truck walk-around champion. We'd like to see the technique you used in winning the 1988 competition. Would you oblige us? Be glad to. Thanks for the opportunity. I'd also like to thank Ford Motor Company for inviting me here today. This is a real honor. I've realized that learning the motivations of each prospect is extremely important. If I don't learn those motivations very early in the interview, I probably won't even get to the full walk-around. For example, a prospect that needs a working vehicle will be interested in a different set of features and their benefits than, say, a prospect who will be using the truck primarily for transportation to and from an office job. By collecting that information early on, I can tailor my presentation to emphasize the features that will be most important to that prospect. This is the 1990 Ranger XLT with preferred equipment package 864A We'll start at the front of the vehicle, and the last position in my walk around will be the interior. Certain key reasons to buy will apply to virtually all prospects. I make sure that these are the first items I cover at a position to help in building the prospect's enthusiasm for the vehicle. Ranger, for instance, has built a reputation as rugged, durable, and fun to drive, qualities that most buyers look for in a compact pickup. Ranger's contemporary exterior and interior styling is another key reason to buy. For example, these composite halogen headlamps not only add to Ranger's appearance, they produce a brighter light than conventional seal beams. And this tough high impact lens is more resistant to minor impacts than glass, much less likely to be damaged. Ford's exclusive twin I-beam independent front suspension on 4x2 models is another important feature, tough forged steel I-beams combined with coil springs and nitrogen gas pressurized shock absorbers work individually to step over bumps and deliver excellent handling while providing Ford Trek Tough durability. 4x4 models feature a similar twin traction beam front suspension. When it comes to powertrains, Ranger has several under the hood features that set it apart from Toyota and Chevy. All Ranger engines feature multiple port electronic fuel injection. Multiple port EFI delivers a precisely metered fuel charge to each cylinder. 
Toyota's standard engine still comes with a two-barrel carburetor. The standard engine and the 4.3-liter V6 in Chevy's S10 use an older technology, throttle body fuel injection. By the way, this and all other competitive comparison statements are based on 1989 model comparisons. Ranger's standard 2.3-liter overhead cam four-cylinder engine also utilizes two spark plugs per cylinder. This advanced feature helps promote efficient combustion of the air-fuel mixture. And for prospects that are interested in more power, the 1990 Ranger now features two V6 engine choices, depending on model. The standard five-speed manual transmission with fifth gear overdrive is another important selling feature. The overdrive fifth gear reduces engine RPM at highway speeds. The result, reduced engine wear. The window sticker is the next tool I use for the value story. In this case, Ranger XLT with preferred equipment package 864A is an outstanding value. You know, when it comes to safety, I don't know of anyone that doesn't find Ranger's standard rear wheel anti-lock brake system important. The system works to inhibit rear wheel lockup by automatically pumping the brakes under most operating conditions. This helps the driver maintain steering control. Ranger's maximum towing capacity has been increased in XLT and STX 4x4 models to a full 6,000 pounds when equipped with the 4-liter V6 and other required equipment. That's an increase of over 10% from 1989. For prospects that need a versatile, hard-working truck, Ranger has features that never fail to impress. In just a matter of seconds, the tailgate can be removed without tools. Just attach the straps, and the tailgate lifts right out. The Chevy and GMC compact pickups require tools to remove the tailgate. And Ranger's two-tier loading capability, stake pockets and tie-down holes add versatility to the cargo box. Since individual needs differ, I emphasize specific features based on my prospect interview and the reaction to features already mentioned. For instance, a prospect that will be carrying cargo on a regular basis will be much more interested in Ranger's standard 1,200-pound payload capacity than someone looking for a sport truck. That same prospect will appreciate the welded double wall cargo box. This feature protects the outer box panel from damage if items placed in the box come in contact with the inner box panel. Prospects will also be interested in how their investments will be protected. Ranger, like all Ford light trucks, is backed by a 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12, basic warranty. A six-year, 60,000-mile limited powertrain warranty provides long-term protection of major powertrain components. And a six-year, 100,000-mile corrosion perforation warranty covers outer body rust through. Remember that certain restrictions and deductibles may apply. The presentation of Ranger's interior features is important with all prospects. While specific needs may vary, inside is where they will be spending their time on the road. Ranger's interior was designed with driver and passenger comfort in mind. The split bench cloth seat and column mounted shift selector on automatic transmission models are considered major steps forward in comfort and convenience. Other features like color keyed carpeting and headliner not only add a more expensive look to Ranger XLT, but contribute to interior quiet. Standard mechanical gauges on all Rangers add a sporty appearance to the interior while keeping the driver informed about important vehicle operating conditions. This important feature is not available on Toyota and is optional on Chevy S10. The single stock mounted controls for wipers, windshield washers, turn signals, and headlamp dimmer provide fingertip control without removing your hands from the steering wheel. Tailoring your walk around to the needs of the prospect will help to build their enthusiasm in the product and you. It's those first few minutes that can make the difference between a looker and a buyer. Remember, too, that what you tell them should always be expressed as a benefit they can use, something that will still be important to them after the sale. So, Nancy, Jim, are you guys ready to take a demo ride in this new Ranger? Kevin, that's a very convincing presentation. I can see why you were the 1988 National Walk-Around Champion. Thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. While we're on the subject, Jim, let's review the five key reasons to buy the 1990 Ranger. Sure thing. 
Ranger is rugged, durable, and fun to drive. With preferred equipment package 864A and the manual transmission special value package, it's an outstanding value in the compact pickup segment. Buyers will realize a retail savings of about $1,400 less than the price of the individual options. The standard multiple port electronic fuel injection and rear wheel anti-lock brake system provide efficient, reliable performance and sure stopping. And don't forget, Jim, Ranger's contemporary interior and exterior styling provides a sporty appearance, a high level of comfort and convenience. And for those buyers that want more interior room, Ranger has the largest extended cab model available in a compact pickup. With all that going for it, Nancy, I may just take giving up on that offer. Ranger seems to do just about everything and does it well. Preferred Equipment Package 864A certainly adds to Ranger XLT's value story. Think about it, Jim. You get the deluxe two-tone paint treatment and the XLT equipment group, which includes P215 outline white letter all-season tires, the 6040 cloth split bench seat, chrome rear step bumper, electronic AM FM stereo with cassette and digital clock, power steering, tachometer, and a sliding rear window. Well, don't forget that there's even more value for prospects when they select the manual transmission special value package. They'll also get deep dish cast aluminum wheels at no extra charge. No matter how you look at it, Ranger XLT is one great value. It's no wonder that PEP 864A and Ranger Super Cab PEP 853A account for over 65% of all Rangers sold. You know, Jim, we mentioned Ranger Super Cab earlier, and now might be a good time to talk about some additional product news for 1990. The big news, of course, is 4x4 models. Touch drive electric shift is standard on all 1990 models. Drivers can shift from too high to four high on the fly at the touch of a button without getting out of the cab to lock the hubs. Buyers who still prefer a manual transfer case and manual locking hubs may delete touch drive and receive an option credit. And Nancy, Ranger XLT Super Cab 4x4 with PEP 853A will be a popular selection with four-wheel drive buyers. PEP 853A is the Super Cab version of PEP 864A for regular cab models. Among Super Cab's standard features are the 2.9 liter V6, touch drive as you just mentioned, power steering, a 60-40 cloth split bench seat, tachometer, and deluxe wheel trim. And that's just the standard features. What do buyers get in PEP 853A, Nancy? Well, like other XLT models, Jim, two-tone paint, which, by the way, can be deleted for credit. P215 outline white letter all-season tires, chrome rear step bumper, rear jump seats, and an AM-FM electronic stereo with cassette and digital clock. And manual transmission models will also receive deep dish cast aluminum wheels at no extra charge in the manual transmission special value package, all at a retail savings of about $1,100 less than the price of individual options. Regional packages will feature slightly different content, like the Southern States package, which adds air conditioning. All packages will reflect a similar discount. Nancy, Pete Halsmer of the Ford Motorsport IMSA Racing Team is standing by to tell us about one of the new engineering features that we'll see on the 1990 Ranger. As you've already heard, a new 4-liter V6 will be available in some 1990 Ranger and Aerostar models. But there's more to this new engine than meets the eye. In fact, at first glance, you may have difficulty telling it apart from the 2.9-liter engine you're used to seeing. The 4-liter V6 is a direct descendant of the familiar 2.9-liter engine. The internal dimensions have been increased, resulting in the larger displacement. The conventional distributor has been replaced by the distributorless ignition system. You've seen this on the Taurus SHO, the 3.8-liter supercharged engine in the Super Coupe, and the 2.3-liter 4 in the Ranger. It delivers a computer-controlled, high-intensity spark and eliminates the moving parts found in a conventional distributor. The multi-port electronic fuel injection system delivers a precisely metered fuel charge to the cylinders for clean, efficient power. The end result, 160 horsepower at 4,200 RPM and 240 foot-pounds of torque at 3,000 RPM. More available power for hauling cargo or trailer towing. The 4-liter V6, just one more example of Ford Motor Company's engineering excellence. Thank you, Pete. We look forward to talking to you again. We've seen and heard a lot of information about the Ranger for 1990 so far.
but the competition is making a few changes as well. After a major freshening in 1989, we anticipate that Toyota pickups will receive only minor changes for 1990. Chevrolet may introduce a five-speed manual transmission in S10 pickup models with a 4.3-liter engine, and the 2.8-liter engine would then likely be restricted to two-wheel drive applications only and would no longer be available with automatic transmission. In Ford Motor Company's ongoing commitment to quality, surveys of vehicle owners are constantly providing valuable information that results in an improved product. Many times, customers return to the dealership within the first few weeks of ownership with questions or concerns that could be avoided by a more thorough delivery demonstration. With that in mind, let's go back to Kevin Corson for a couple of delivery tips on Ranger that will help improve owner satisfaction. Kevin, what are you going to show us? Nancy, our research indicates that some people are unclear about how to shut off the outside airflow on air-conditioned Rangers. This is because there's no off position on the panel, as many people are used to seeing. Make sure during your delivery, you show the customer that by moving the function lever to the max AC position while leaving the AC button in the off position, outside airflow will be completely shut off. Incidentally, turning the fan switch to the off position will also automatically shut off the AC compressor. This will eliminate annoying drafts that could bring them back to the service department unnecessarily. Another important demonstration is Ranger's no-touch engine starting procedure. Many people are accustomed to pressing the accelerator pedal before starting the engine to set the choke. Explain during delivery that this is not necessary with multiple port EFI. In fact, doing so may actually cause the engine to stall or run rough after starting. It's an old habit and may take some getting used to. All vehicle operating procedures are covered in the owner's guide. Be sure to stress the importance of referring to this book for any questions about vehicle operation. Nancy, Jim, I hope these tips have been helpful. I'll see you again soon. Thanks, Kevin. Those tips should come in handy during delivery. Very simple, but a very important detail. And considering Ranger's leadership in the compact pickup segment, Jim, it's important that those details are attended to. While we know about Ranger's exclusive features and content advantages over the competition, those little things add up. Exactly, Nancy. And the efforts of the Ford salespeople in selling Ranger have been very successful. By maintaining that effort in 1990, Ranger and Ranger salespeople will stay on top. Your 1990 salesperson source book and light truck facts book will supply you with complete details of model, powertrain, and option availability. Consult these important references regularly so that you and Ranger lead the way.